Hi, I'm Karen Malone. I've been doing music my whole life. Today I'm gonna show you dancehall drum patterns. So let's go! Mixing melon on the track. Dancehall has been around for a long time, so of course the music has changed a lot, both in uh, instruments, uh, sound, and rhythm patterns, and so on. I'm just gonna show you three rhythms that I probably think you've heard before. Let's go. So rhythm number one is the one that you heard in Drake's One Dance. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. So the kick is on four on the floor. That means that it's in one, one, two, three, four. That's easy, right? What about the snare? Three, four. So you can just take a screenshot of, of this if you want to. After the first kick, you got two gaps before you hit the snare. And after the second one, it's one gap before you hit the snare. And then it's two gaps again to the next snare. And from the next kick, it's one gap again. So it's basically the same here. Unka, unka. And one more time. Unka, unka. Like this. And what I did with the hi-hat, I just wrote in like 16 notes and didn't really think a lot about being creative and... It can sound kind of boring, but what I did to make it a little bit better is highlighted all of the hi hands. And in, in Ableton, you can press a button called Randomize here, and it will randomize your velocity. Just check the check under here. Again, I randomize something new. Yeah, so the blue lines are the velocity of the hi hat. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, so that was rhythm number one. Rhythm number two, I'm sure you've heard that a lot before too. Let's call it standard dancehall, I don't know. <laughs> and I just did the same with the hi-hat. You don't even need hi-hats. You can use percussion or you can just use the kick and snare or rim or whatever. You can just be creative with it. Let's listen. One, two, three, four. So let's look at the kick. There's a kick on one and two gaps and then a kick and two gaps and then a kick in one gap. And it's the same again with a kick, two gaps, kick, two gaps, kick and one gap. And the snare just follows the third and the sixth kick like this. So one, two, three, four easy and here's the whole thing two three four cool rhythm number three is i guess a little bit more modern dance hall let's listen one two three four so i chose a rim this time so here you can see I actually just got two kicks, it's not that busy. So it's here on the one, nothing on two, but in the middle of three comes the kick. Like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the high hat, uh, the rim is a little bit busier. Goes like this. So the rim hits before two, three, and on the four. Like one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like I said previously, just take a screenshot. Of and let's listen to it last time. Yeah. Cool, so that was uh, short and sweet. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, please like and subscribe. I hope I see you soon and comment. Did I miss anything? Please comment. Do you learn anything? Please comment. Should I do a part two? Please comment. And that's all I got to say actually. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.